Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. Surgeons keep our hearts beating. They do the amazing, help save lives, and so can you. Your CSL Plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines that can give Grandpa the chance for his heart to swell when he meets his new grandson or give a bride the chance for her heart to skip a beat on her wedding day. Every plasma donation helps more than you know. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate today at your local CSL Plasma Center and be rewarded for your generosity. Our world can feel chaotic and uncertain. But we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised you and I his peace. And throughout scripture, he has provided powerful truths and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and grow our faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com. Prayer Regarding Fortitude, written and read by Jessica Van Roekel. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. Psalm 84, 5-7, ESV. Do you ever start January with resolutions all shiny and bright? Do you think, this is the year I'm going to get it all together? And some of us work those goals like a bread maker kneading dough, but others, like myself, find those shiny resolutions dulling after a few days. I start out with energetic vigor, but lose it when the reality of the work involved smacks me in the face. I forget about the in-between. The time defined is the moments of putting words into actions and being intentional about my intentions. I've determined to exercise, eat right, and get enough sleep, but I make excuses and the dessert's too good to refuse. I've committed to weekly family nights, but busy schedules prevent them. I make goals for my spiritual walk, too, and determine to finally finish that one Bible study I started a few years ago, but I can't find the book. These resolutions and my inability to keep them leaves me feeling frustrated with myself, so I no longer make resolutions. But I do resolve to stay faithful to the Lord and trust that He will grow in me what He wants as I surrender to Him. This type of resolution needs fortitude undergirding it. Fortitude can be defined as the mental and emotional strength needed to face difficulties with courage. Winter doldrums creep in like fog on a lake and old coping habits of overindulgence and the mentality of, I'll do it tomorrow, take over. Our resolve to use the planner we spent way too much money on stays empty and we slide it into a drawer where it lays as a reminder of our ineptness to organize our life. We begin responding to life from a defensive position rather than an offensive one. This passage from the Psalms reminds us that even though life holds hardships, we can move forward into beauty. Even though we may disappoint ourselves with our inability to stay focused on our January goals, momentum is still possible. So often we disqualify ourselves because of our perceived failures. But what if we reframed our perception and viewed it as an opportunity to learn fortitude? The psalmist tells us we go from strength to strength. Our strength is in God. We find his strength when we seek his presence. And when we have his presence, we have his blessings. This means that we have the strength for what's right in front of us, not for something hidden around the next bend. 
God makes himself near us each step of the way. Isn't that a wonderful thought? To know that God is near when we feel alone. When we spend time with God through Bible reading, worship, and prayer, we experience renewed spiritual strength. We can look at our valleys and see beauty for ashes because God makes it a place of growth. If you find yourself overwhelmed with the areas you want to improve in your life, lean into fortitude. Focus on receiving the strength you need from God by enjoying Him, by talking to Him, and by sharing your life with Him. He is your strength, and He provides the mental and emotional tenacity you need. Let's pray. Holy God, thank you for being my King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Great are you, Lord. You are my strength and my heart is set on you. I know I will face situations where I will wonder if I'll make it to the other side. Help me to see the beauty you're making as I lean into you. Direct me as I go from strength to strength. Let the steps I take be guided by your hand and let the words of my mouth bring you glory and honor. Thank you for making my valleys a place of growth. I trust you for fortitude. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Surgeons keep our hearts beating. They do the amazing, help save lives, and so can you. Your CSL Plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines that can give Grandpa the chance for his heart to swell when he meets his new grandson or give a bride the chance for her heart to skip a beat on her wedding day. Every plasma donation helps more than you know. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate today at your local CSL Plasma Center and be rewarded for your generosity.